Hey guys, welcome to my channel Pretty Parsi Cook. My name is Roshni and today I'm going to share with you an Arabic speciality which is called Mandi. Now this is a lamb and rice dish. The lamb is cooked so soft where the meat is almost falling off the bone and the rice is cooked in this uh, jus that comes out from the lamb. It's a very aromatic dish, not at all spicy, but it is aromatic with the garam masalas which are used in the Arabic cuisine. So I'm going to share this lovely mandi recipe with you today. Now before I go, I'd want to request you to like, share, comment or subscribe to my channel so you can help me grow my channel and I can bring all these lovely recipes to you. And on that note, let's get cooking. Let's start with making the mandi spice mix. To a pan, we'll add 2 teaspoons of cumin seeds, 2 teaspoons coriander seeds, 2 teaspoons peppercorns, 2 medium pieces cinnamon, 6 cloves, 6 green cardamoms, 1 fourth piece nutmeg. And we will dry roast this on medium heat for 2 to 3 minutes. Now we'll take it off the heat, let it cool for around 5 minutes and then dry grind this to a powder and keep aside. Now we will prepare the mandi tomato sauce. This is a very important sauce, the mandi is incomplete without it. To a chopper or a mixer grinder, we will add 1 medium onion, roughly chopped, 3 medium tomatoes, which we have just chopped in 4 pieces, 2 green chilies, 2 cloves of garlic, 2 tablespoons coriander leaves, half a teaspoon salt for seasoning and we will chop or blend this for less than 10 seconds. It needs to be like a salsa texture. You need to remove this and keep aside until we make the mandi because it tastes better when it is kept aside for some time and then eaten with the mandi. Now we will start making the mandi. We will take a pressure cooker, put it on high heat, put 4 to 5 tablespoons of oil. This oil should be really hot. We will take 2 large pieces of lamb shanks and place it in the hot oil. Now we will sear these lamb shanks about a minute each side so they turn nice and brown. To this we will add 1 medium onion which we have sliced roughly. 4 green chilies, 4 cloves of garlic, a 2 inch piece of ginger, 2 teaspoons of the mandi spice mix that we have made, 2 teaspoons salt and 6 cups of water. We will mix all of this well. Now we will close the lid and pressure cook this for 5 to 6 whistles. The lamb shanks need to be cooked to extremely tender, almost falling off the bone. So use your judgement and cook them as per your pressure cooker. So here we go, we've opened the pressure cooker after releasing the pressure and you can see that the lamb shanks, the meat has fallen off the bone and it is extremely tender. Carefully, we will remove these lamb shanks out from the broth on a plate and set them aside. Now, the broth that we have, we need to strain it because we do not need all the leftover onions or the ginger and garlic or chilies that have been there in the broth. So, we will discard all the leftovers and keep this broth. Now we will take out one cup of the broth and keep aside because this is what we require to put on top of the mandi while we are eating. 
so we keep one cup aside and see to it that we have five cups left over in case if it is less add some water to it now we will take this five cups of broth and add to a large pot in which we will cook the rice so we will turn the heat to high add half teaspoon of mandi spice mix to this broth half a teaspoon of salt to it one dried lime or lemon this is optional if you have it you can put it one bay leaf to this broth and bring to a boil to this we will add two and a half cups of basmati rice which we have washed and soaked for 30 minutes that is why you need five cups of broth because we need double the broth to cook the rice now we will keep this on high and cook this for 10 minutes you will see that the water will start disappearing and the rice grains will become large so the rice has cooked to 80 percent we will give this a gentle stir and to this we will add half a cup of almonds one fourth cup of golden raisins we will take the lamb shanks that we have kept aside and carefully place them over this rice we will take one teaspoon saffron soak it in one fourth cup warm water and drizzle it over the lamb shanks as well as the rice now we will turn the heat to extremely low and cover and cook this rice along with the lamb shanks, almonds, raisins, saffron water for 10 minutes. We will open this after 10 minutes and enjoy this lovely mandi with the tomato sauce and the broth that we've kept aside. Try this out with your family, they will just love it. Don't forget to subscribe.